So guys, um, uh, as you know that today is the beginning of semester three. Please all of you stay muted. Just if you want to say something, raise your computer hand and I will allow you to unmute yourselves. So today we we'll st uh, have started with uh, semester three. And as I said that in semester three, uh, uh, we, I, I said we have four semesters, three and four, two booklets, the grammar and the phonics. So please keep them with you, keep them prepared because we're going to work on them starting from now to the end of the year, okay? So this week, as your friend said that he watched the lecture video and he read the lecture, we're going to cover complex sentences. Before I start with complex sentences, who wants to tell me, or if you still remember, I hope that you still remember, uh, what is a simple sentence? I want to ask you, what is a simple sentence? Can I answer? Uh, Am I? Who's talking? Mahdi? Mahdi. Mahdi. Mahdi, the first. Yes. Mahdi. Yalla, Mahdi. Why do I have two Mahdi's here? Mess a simple. Mess a simple sentence. Uh, the sentence that has one subject, one predicate, and one co content. Complete. Uh, one complete. Con con Read idea. Complete idea. Excellent. So we say we have a simple sentence when we have one complete subject, one complete predicate, one complete idea in a, in a sentence. Okay, so this is sentence. Is there another naming for the simple sentence? We call it something else. Yes. What do we call it, Majid? Independent. Independent, independent clothes. clothes. Excellent. Excellent. We call it independent clothes. We said simple sentence is equal, one simple sentence is equal to one independent clause, okay? Also, when we say clause, we mean that, uh, we mean that we have a simple sentence, okay? Like, this is the simple sentence. Uh, what about uh, the compound sentence? We talked uh, previously about something called compound sentence. Who wants to tell me? Um, uh, Can I? Karim, yalla Karim. Let me imagine. Karim, uh, I trust a, Karim, yalla. A, a compound sentence, it's all about a two dependent clause and added to each other in one sentence. That's talking about two things in one sentence. Okay, but how are they added? You mean added, you mean joined, okay? But how they are added or joined? By a fan boy. By one of the fan boys and a kima. Excellent. This is the first. This is the first step. Or we can add the using a semicolon. I mean joining. Semicolon. And thank you, guys. Thank you. So let me uh, summarize everything for you. As you as you all said. Okay. Uh, oh, first of all, a simple sentence. A simple sentence is a sentence that contains one complete subject, one complete predicate, one complete idea, and it makes one, one simple sentence. Every one simple sentence makes one independent clause. We also call it one independent clause. But what happens when we join more than one independent clauses together? If we join, for example, two independent clauses with a kema and a fanboy, kema and a fanboy, one of the fanboys, which we call coordinating conjunctions, or or a semicolon, then we're here we're forming, uh, we're forming a compound sentence. We're forming a compound sentence. Guys, these ways of writing, these ways of forming sentences, we call them sen sentence structures. These are structures of the sentences, okay? We, today we're going to cover a third sentence structure, which is called complex sentence. Uh, I think Hassan Mughni said that he uh, watched the uh, video. So guys, before I start, I would uh, remind you that this uh, this lesson and with the explanation are found in uh, grammar booklet part two. You can start with it in page three, okay? So in grammar booklet part two, if you go back to grammar booklet part two, page three, you're going to find the lesson complex sentences. Hassan Mughni, you said that you have watched the video, right? 
Yes, we still remember, we still have an idea about a complex sentence. What is a complex sentence? We still remember or no? Or did you get the idea? Complex sentence. Maybe you want to be in the book? Yes, keep it beside you, the booklet. To express complex idea. Okay, it expresses complex ideas. That's right. The complex sentence expresses complex ideas. Excellent, Yemes. Okay, so for example, let's say I have ideas, complex ideas that are related to each other in a certain way, okay, or show show a relation between each other, and I have to, to join them together. I can make them one complex sentence. So the complex sentences, okay, Ibrahim, if you can read, please. Ibrahim. Please, guys, I want you yes. to be always prepared. Yeah, just a second, Brian. I want you all to get prepared. At any time, I would ask you to read, and I, at any time, I can take a reading break. Okay? So, at any time, I can take a reading grade if, when you read. Yala Brahim, can you read what is a complex sentence or what are complex sentences? Read, Ibrahim. Complex sentences are you expressed complex ideas. Complex sentences. Sorry, guys, but the internet is reconnecting. No problem. Let's continue. Yella. Brahim, again. Brahim. Yella, continue, Brahim. Complex sentences are used to express complex ideas, showing how ideas and events are related to each other. First of all, I use the complex sentences to show how the ideas are related to each other. Okay? Also, what else? Why do I use complex sentences, Ibrahim? Can you hear me, Ms. Ibrahim? Ibrahim, Majid, can you hear me? Can I read? Yes, read. I think Ibrahim cannot hear me. Continue. About certain words. No, no, no. Continue, continue reading correctly. Certain words of. Oh, okay. Certain words or phrases. Or phrases. Okay, so when I use a complex sentence, or when I. Find... I, I form a complex sentence to show some ideas that are related to each other and in which way, or if I want to provide extra information about certain words or certain events or th certain actions that happened, I want to provide extra information, so I have to form a complex sentence. Okay. Uh, now you, ca you still can't hear me well, MS. No, we can't hear you. Hani, Hassan. Okay. Yeah, now we can hear. Oh, some can hear me well, some cannot hear me well. So I think that we have a common problem. So, okay, don't worry, guys, because everything will be repeated tomorrow. Don't worry. If you don't get the idea today, okay, everything will be repeated tomorrow. Yala, continue, Yamaja. Please stop chatting, guys. Leave chatting till the end. A complex sentence. A complex sentence consists of me. If a main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. Okay, so you see, when we said that we want to show how events are related to each other or provide or provide extra information, you see extra information, this shows me that I'm going to have in the complex sentence, when you read any complex sentence, you're going to find two things. One main clause, main, which gives us the main idea, the main information, the main actions, and we can find also one or more subordinate clauses. Now we're going to have we're going to have different names for the main clause and subordinating the clauses. Okay. So guys, I want you to keep in mind that in every complex sentence, I have to find at least one. Uh, for sure, I have to find a main clause and at least one subordinate clause. Okay. Again, I repeat 
the main clause is the clause is the sentence is the part of the complex sentence that gives the gives me the main idea the main thought that i want to tell in the sentence and i'm going to have extra information added to it or i'm going to have extra ideas that show relation with it which we call subordinate clause okay let's have some examples first of all we have to know what a clause is okay what a clause is hasan mughni what do we find in a clause hasan hasan okay guys i hope that you now can hear me clearly can you hear me clearly now so as i said in every uh, in any just a second, guys. Just a second. So, guys, as I said, that in the complex sentence, we must have one main clause, the main clause that gives us the main uh, idea of the sentence, and a subordinate. Just a second, guys. But just a second, I'm fixing it. Please stay muted, all of you. Just a second. So, guys, as I was saying, that uh, the complex sentence is made up of a main clause. The main clause is the clause. Now we're going to know what a clause means. A clause that gives us the main, main point of the sentence. And we're going to add to it another clause that we call subordinating clause because it gives extra information or it shows a relation between the main clause and another idea okay so um uh, hassan let's see with hassan what a clause is hassan Mughnini. a clause a clause is a single idea or event when we say clause we mean that we have single idea or event what do we find in the clause a clause has First, it has what? Yeah, Hassan, uh, it has a it has a subject. It has a subject. What else? A verb. A verb, and it even contains more information. So we can say simply that the close, the close is a simple sentence. Okay, a close is a sim is a maybe could, it could be a simple sentence or not a complete sentence but we call it a close it has a single idea it has a subject it has a verb okay yeah. again i repeat that the close it has a single idea it has a subject it has a verb it could be a simple sentence okay it could be not so uh example here guys the knight killed the dragon if we read this one the knight killed the dragon here uh, you might notice that we have a subject, okay? We have a verb, the subject denied, the verb killed, and we have uh, the completion of the sentence. And it gives us uh, one complete idea. It's complete, so we can call it a simple sentence. Simple sentence equals one clause. Any simple sentence equal one clause. And if you remember, we called it independent clause, okay? Here, the subject denied, sorry. Okay, and here's the... Uh, the verb killed okay so this is a clause it's a simple sentence this is a clause okay guys so simply when we say a clause we mean a simple sentence okay now sorry let's differentiate between the subordinate clause and the main clauses or else what we can call them i told you that you can call them that you can call them in different names so, uh, dependent and independent clauses okay we can call them dependent and independent clauses the main clause since it's a simple sentence what do we call it we agreed that the simple sentence is also equal to the independent clause so the main clause since it gives a complete idea it has a subject it has a verb then it is the independent clause but the subordinate clause is called dependent let's see why is it called dependent let's have this example guys okay uh kareem 
Karim? Yes, miss. Read the one in the middle. The sentence or the clause in the in middle. middle. The night felt strangely sad. The night felt strangely sad. Does it have a subject? No. No, it doesn't have a subject? Yes, yes, the it night. It has a subject, the night. It's complete it subject. A... Excellent. A verb. Does it have a verb? The night. The night is the subject, the verb. Now I'm asking you about the verb. Yes, now we can't hear you very well. Now. Guys. Yes. All of you can't hear me well. Guys, even now? Yes, now I can hear you very well. Okay. Now. okay, okay. So as Karen was saying that we have a subject, the night, we have also a verb, felt, and we have the uh, further information, more information. Here, this part, this clause gives us a complete idea. It has a subject, it has a verb. So what do I call it? What do I call it? I call it independent. A close. What do I call it? I call close. it independent. A close. Independent close. Oh, excellent. And the independent close is the main close in the sentence. So this is the independent close. What does the independent close contain? Yes. The independent close expresses subject. one idea or event. It has a subject. It has subject. a verb. And it has a complete idea. It makes sense idea. on its own. Idea. Yes, you see, guys, it's very important to say that it makes sense on its own, meaning that it doesn't need help from others, okay? It doesn't need help from others. That's a simple sentence which we call it independent clause. But what about the else? Let's read the other clauses. When he killed the dragon. When he killed the dragon, okay? Okay, when I read this clause, when he killed the dragon, do you feel that there is something missing? Yes. Yes, it's missing something. Does it give you the complete idea? No. What happened when he killed the dragon? I don't know. They didn't complete it. What no. happened when he killed the dragon? We don't know. So here, this clause is missing something. Okay, it's missing the complete idea. It needs, it needs, does it need something else to be completed? Do we need to add things to it to be completed? Yes. Yes. The main can, it, can it stand alone? Can it stand alone? No. No, no it cannot stand alone. So, we from here we notice that this clause is not an independent clause. No, because it needs help from others, and when it needs help from others, we call it dependent clause. We call it no. dependent. A close. So please, guys, pay attention to me. When we say main clause or independent clause, we mean that the clause expresses a complete idea. It can stand alone. It makes a simple sentence, so we call it independent clause. But the dependent, dependent, we call it dependent because it depends on others. It depends on something else. Okay, it needs help from other other parts of sentences. It expresses one idea or event, but it doesn't make sense on its own. You see, it doesn't make sense on its own. And it needs a main clause to complete the sense. So any dependent clause needs an independent clause. And when the independent and dependent clauses join together, they make a complex sentence. What do they make? They make a complex sentence. Because it had been a mighty beast. OK, because it had been a mighty beast. So what happened? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get the complete idea. So I need help from other parts. I need help from an independent clause. So here, the second, the third clause is also a dependent clause. And notice something very important. What do the dependent clauses start with? The first one started with when. And the, the third one started with because. These are what? Because and when are called subordinating conjunctions subordinating conjunction. So what do dependent clauses include? Dependent clauses, excellent, they start with subordinating conjunctions because this subordinating conjunction 
shows the relation between the independent and the dependent clause, but it's always found in the dependent clause, okay? We find the subordinating conjunction in the dependent clause. So, as a sum up, uh, uh, as a conclusion, can I read? Read it, Rajat. A complex sentence combines both an independent and dependent clause using a sub subordinating conjunction. Okay. So a complex sentence combines both an independent and a dependent clauses or clause using a subordinating conjunction. You see subordinating conjunction. Read the example, Majid. Although I was tired, I studied for the test. Okay. Type. Imagine, can you tell me where is the independent and where is the dependent clause? Ordo is a subordinating conjunction. Okay. And uh, this is Ordo. I was tired. Yes, is what? Is an in independent. Independent. Read it. Although I was tired. Does it make sense? Can it stand alone? No. No. No, so no, what no. is it? Dependent. Dependent. Excellent. So when I read the part, okay, are the clause that cannot stand alone, and notice that it has the subordinating conjunction in it. So this means it's the dependent clause. Read the second clause. Okay. I studied for the test. Okay, I studied for the test. I can understand it. It makes sense. It can stand alone. So it's what? Independent. Independent clause, guys. It is an independent clause. So you see, it makes sense on its own. So we consider it independent clause. Or you can write it in a different way. You can start with the independent clause. I studied for the test, although I was tired. Okay, so you can start with them both ways. But notice something that. What did we add when we started with the dependent clause? Yeah. Alpini Alpini Miss me, can I? Miss can I? Miss can you please unmute yourself? Hussain. You cannot hear me, Miss? طيب هاني yes, yes. Okay. يلا. I, I want to ask هاني a question هاني what do you notice that when we started with the dependent clause what did we add after it after the dependent clause when we started the uh, right yeah, a line no 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 when we wrote the independent clause we started the sentence the complex sentence with the independent clause as in the first example what did we add after it um, what is it? It's a comma. A dash? Comma, not Some... a dash. Comma. We call it a comma. Okay? So, guys, when we start with yes. the dependent clause, we have to add a comma. But when we start with the independent clause, we do not add a comma. And this is something very important. You have to pay attention to it. Okay? Yes. When you start yes. with that, the dependent clause, you have to add a comma. But when you start with the independent clause, there is no need to add a comma. Okay. Here I'm showing you, okay, uh, some of the subordinating conjunctions that we're going to use. Okay. We call them subordinating conjunctions because they are secondary. They provide the secondary ideas or secondary information. Okay. So, uh, like because. It shows the reason here, also since, also shows reason, okay, uh, when, it shows time, while also shows time, although shows the uh, opposite ideas, even though also shows opposite ideas, if shows a condition, as a result, whereas, until, unless, whenever, wherever, okay, after, before, so all of these, are called subordinating conjunctions, and we even still have more and more subordinating conjunctions, but these are the most common subordinating conjunctions that you're going to use. Okay, guys? 
So okay, we talked about the uh, the punctuation. Now this is exercise A. It's in page eleven in the booklet. If you can quickly open the booklet on page eleven, let's solve this exercise together. It's very easy and simple. Okay, guys, very easy and simple. Uh, Malak. Yes, which one? The grammar? Grammar, yes, grammar, yes. Okay, wait. Malak? Yes, I see. I saw it. Yes. Okay, no problem, Majid. Yalla. Uh, Malak, can you read the question? Yes. Identify whether the sentences are simple compound or complex. Identify whether the sentences are simple compound or complex. For simple, you can write as. For compound, you can write. C, M, and for the complex, you can write C, X. Okay? Yalla. Number one, Yamalak. I love to read. Okay, what is this? Uh, simple. Simple, yes. If you notice that we have one idea, one subject, one predicate, one complete idea, so it can stand alone, so it makes a simple sentence. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Yamalak. This one, this one is page eleven. Miss, uh, this is not the book. This is not the booklet. We're not using wonders. We have booklets that we made in school, and I sent the booklets on the app, on the uh, on the WhatsApp, and you can find them on the application. Not wonders, yeah, Miss. Okay, honey, you have to pay attention to this thing. We're not using. Have to copy. Do you have to copy them? You can have it as PDF if you want. You can use it as PDF on your tablet or on your computer. Or if you want, you can print okay. them out. It's up to you. Hala? Okay. Okay, honey. But okay. now I don't have it. No what problem. I can now, do? Follow us. Follow us. Okay. Please, guys, try your After best. The movie... the end, just a second, Hala. Guys, try your best before the end of the week to have the book list with you. Either as PDF or printed out. You, it's up to you. Okay? But you need to have the books. After the movie, we went all out for pizza. Complex. Complex. It says it's complex. Where is the dependent and where is the independent clause? Do you know? Yes. Okay. The independent clause is, is after the movie. Miss you're going to uh, get confused a lot. All of you pay attention. No, the clause that has the subordinating conjunction, the clause that cannot give us a complete thought without oh. them is called dependent. It depends on something else. That's why we call it dependent. So the one that so you gave it, Hala, it, We went all out for pizza. That's it's right. the independent That's clause. right. That's right. Okay. So you see? And after the movie, is the dependent guys, after, after the movie bravo hala so guys please keep it in mind like the independent clause is like an adult it's a grown-up but the dependent clause is like a baby it needs help from others okay keep it in mind the dependent clause is like a baby it needs help while the independent clause it's it's a grown-up it's an adult it doesn't need help from others thank you hala okay let me take alim Rui. Yes. Come on, please. Number three. We ran home and ate dinner. Mm -hmm. Compound sentence. Are you sure? Let's let's check. We ran home. Okay. This this makes one independent clause. Ate dinner. What is the subject here? No. So here we do not have two independent clauses. Yeah, if you still remember. When we need to say, when we want to say that we have a complex sentence, we need to have two independent clauses. But do I have two independent clauses here? No. No. I have a compounded predicate. Pay attention to that. Ran home and ate dinner. Okay? So this doesn't make a compound sentence. What does it make? Simple. A complex. No. Do we have a subordinating conjunction, Ya Ali? Do we have a subordinating conjunction? Do we have yes. spent? No, there is no subordin subordinating. Pay attention, guys. There is a difference between coordinating 
and subordinating and is a coordinating conjunction. The conjunctions that we have just covered because after, when, where, while, as, before, uh, wherever, whenever, these are called subordinating conjunctions. But and is a coordinating conjunction. And notice something here, and ate dinner, and ate dinner. It doesn't make a close. No, it doesn't make a close because we don't have a subject here. Okay, guys? So here it's not a compound sentence, not a complex sentence. It's simply a simple sentence. Simple sentence, one independent close. It has a subject, it has predicate, and it has a complete idea, one complete idea. So it makes a simple sentence. Okay? Did you get it now, Ya Ali? Senf Tuni. Sen. Senf Tuni. Yalla, miss, before the time ends. Sen. Yes, miss. Senf Tuni. Can you do number four, please? Vampire. Vampire's diaries. 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 Diary. Is my is my favorite television show. Mm -hmm. Come but, on, but I also love two blood. Okay, this is what? It's compound. Compound. Notes now, guys. This is compound. Okay, why? First of all, I have two. Let's see, we have two clauses. Vampire Diaries is my favorite television show. It has a subject, a predicate, complete idea. It can stand alone. It makes an independent clause but is a coordinating conjunction. I also love true blood. I also love true blood. Is an independent clause also, subject, predicate, complete idea. So two independent clauses joined with a coordinating conjunction is called a compound sentence. Compound sentence. Okay? Okay, type guys, before the time mm -hmm. ends, uh, who, who said can me? Majed, yalla. Wherever, wherever they are, it is far from here. Mm -hmm. What is this? Complex. Complex sentence. Complex sentence. What is the dependent and what is the independent clause? Okay. Miss, uh, wherever they are, mm -hmm. it's... Uh, is what? The, uh, Dependent. Dependent, that's right. What is the subordinating conjunction? Wherever. Wherever, okay. Continue. It's far from here. What do we call it? Independent. Independent clause. Excellent. Independent clause. Great, great, guys. Type, guys, you still have one minute. What I want from you is to complete this exercise at home and solve the other exercises in the booklet. Pages 12, 13, 14. Okay, guys. Miss. Yes. If I if I don't have the booklet, what I can what I can do? Miss, it's your responsibility to have the booklet. You have to download it as a app, or you can print it out because I have sent it two weeks ago on the on WhatsApp. You have to have the booklet. Okay. Style. okay? Because we're going to do okay. quizzes, we're going to study in them, so the, it's your responsibility to have this booklet. So guys, we still have only one minute. Do you have any questions before we end the live session? No. 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 Okay, so you can leave. Bye.